Hey there, today I'm sharing a look at my Westinghouse WGen 9500DF, a dual fuel generator built for home, RV, and job site use. I'm using it to power my whole house with a remote inlet in my garage to my main electrical panel with an interlock kit, which I'll go over in more detail in a separate video. I'm using it with propane only, so its peak is 11,200 watts. It has a 457 cc engine, 6.6 gallon fuel tank, and up to 12 hours run time at 50% load. It has dual fuel switch on the fly, remote start, electric, and recoil start. It comes shipped with oil, a funnel, a remote, a tool kit, a wheel kit, and a user manual. It's got a heavy duty frame, never flat wheels, and it's got a heavy duty lift handle. So just to go over some of the features. This is the fuel switch from gas to propane. You can flip it on the, on the fly to while it's running. This is the on off switch. It's got an indicator light. That's the main breaker for the electrical. It's got a uh, hour meter. It's got a remote switch plug there. It's kind of a proprietary Westinghouse switch that will work with the generator. Uh, 50 amp 220 plug, 30 amp 220 plug, and four 110 plugs. And they all have the weather proof or weather resistant uh, covers on them which snap into place. The propane screws in down here and I'm going propane only. I'm not going to even put gas in this at all. It won't gum up the carburetor. It'll just run better I think. So I'm running mine only on propane. This is the battery charger that comes with it. Uh, I haven't used it yet. Uh, but there's some specs there if you can read it. That comes with the generator. You can just leave it plugged in. It's kind of a trickle charger. The propane hose that comes with it is right here. I did add the gauge on it, the, the fuel level gauge. I don't know how well that works. I guess I'll find out. I got it on Amazon. Um, it shows it's full. I guess we'll see what it reads when the tank is empty. But it goes between the, the hose that came with the generator and the tank. And then a trick when you're hooking this up and you turn the propane on, it'll take the generator three or four tries to start. But if you kind of bleed the air out of, turn the gas on and bleed the air out of the hose, the generator will start much faster. Here's a gas tank, 6.6 .6 gallon is the capacity. It's also got a fuel gauge on the top there, pretty standard. Like I said, I'm not gonna put gas in mine, I'm only running it on propane. Look on the side here, there's the generator head unit there and the muffler, pretty large muffler. Still a very loud generator though carburetor, spark plug, choke, it's all automatic though. On this side, got the fuel cutoff under the gas tank there. Fuel cutoff under that, the red uh, fuel filter, and then the pull cord. If you got a dead battery, you can pull it manually, that's good to know. Air cleaner box there, easy to get at, easy access, like that. They've got the toll free assistant number on the right on the frame, three year warranty. Some specs there. Control panels, easy to read. Down below is the battery, and then the starter is the, the brass colored unit there, that's the starter, and then 
and you got a fuse, inline fuse to the starter. The oil drain is down below there at the bottom, you'll see it. And then this is the oil fill. I'll go over oil change another time. And I almost forgot the handle. That's a nice heavy duty handle. Got a foam grip on it. Really nice generator. I'm loving it. So like I said, I've got it wired so I can plug it right into my inlet in my garage. And I use the 50 amp uh, plug on the generator. It goes into my 50 amp inlet in my garage, which goes down to my electrical panel. And I've got an interlock kit on that so I can turn off the street power and then turn on the generator power so it'll be safe. I won't back feed into the system. That's all set up. I'm gonna do a separate video for that. But I did hook it all up. I ran a test. It runs my whole house. It even runs my two-ton air conditioner. Uh, no problem. It, it bogs just a little bit when it starts, but I could probably get a soft start kit for that um, to start easier. But it does start. It runs the air conditioner, runs everything in my house at the same time. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's got a three-year warranty, which is good. So what's the pros and cons? Some of the pros are it's got a strong output, it delivers power real well, dual fuel, remote start, and long run time. Some of the cons, it's really heavy at 211 pounds. It's incredibly loud, but like I said, it doesn't really matter when there's a power outage. Everybody else is running their generator, so to me it doesn't matter. People focus on how loud this generator is and other generators. I don't think it matters because you're using it when, during a power outage more than likely. And if you're using it on a job site, it doesn't matter how loud it is really. So the, the, the loudness, the, the volume is irrelevant to me. Uh, I think it just, it, it's a strong generator, puts out the power, and it starts really quick. It starts really good. So I think it's a good all-round whole house generator in a power outage or job site. Uh, it really delivers. It was about $1,000 on Amazon. They delivered it by a couple professionals. They did a great job unloading it, bringing it right to my garage. Um, I like that it's dual fuel, uh, gas or propane. Uh, that's a plus. If propane is scarce in a power outage, you can fall back on gasoline if you want to. Well, I hope this has been a help. Hit the like button if it has been. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.